guys, it's Kathy, and I know it's been a while, last time I posted a video, but school started and I'm in college now. College, college, college. Yeah, college. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about my piercings. So before I start, this is my cat, Puchunga, everyone. Say hi, Puchunga. Puchunga's eight years old. I got her when I was, when I was 10, fifth grade, my aunt um, gave her to me. So yeah, this is Puchunga, everyone. Okay, now I got your fur all over me now. Okay, so back to originally, well, we're gonna talk about my piercings. So I have 11 piercings. I have three holes on each lobe. I got both of my cartilages, nose piercing, lip, and my tragus. So yeah, I have 11. So I'm gonna talk about short stories about him. So I, the first hole I got when I was a baby, so I don't even know that experience. The rest of my piercings I got during high school. So I got sometime in May, the last two holes. Yeah, you can hear my cat, sorry about that. I got my nose piercing when I was 16 years old and I recently got it re-pierced this summer uh, because uh, my sister was doing my makeup for graduation and she said, can you take off your nose piercing cause so I could do my work? I'm like, okay, sure. And for those who have a nose piercing, you don't even pay attention if it's on or off. So like as a habit, I, I just forgot about it. So graduation happened and then I went to my uh, sober grad night. And then I was like three hours away from my home. So middle of the road, I'm like, I forgot my stud at home. Damn it. I came home like five, six in the morning, all tired and I fell asleep, woke up, then when I woke up, I tried putting it in. The outside was still there, but the inside closed up. So I was surprised, I'm like, whoa, I had this nose piercing for like two years now and it closed up. So if you're planning to get a nose piercing or have a nose piercing, it closes up pretty quick. So yeah, or maybe it was just me, who knows. But with every nose piercing, it comes with a keloid slash hypertrophic scarring which basically is a small bump around your nose or around the piercing and it sucks it happened to me the first time i got my nose pierced and what i did i used a saline wash wound wash solution and that went away pretty quick within three days the first time that happened and when i got it redone i had to go to work uh, for a special event for for work and I had to keep taking it on and off. I got irritated, got a little red, and once the event was over, I had it on for a while, for like a week. A week later, the keloid slash hypertrophic scarring happened. I used the saline wash, but like I was a little lazy about it. Like one day I'll be like really into it, like, okay, we're good. Like I'll like skip like a couple days, go back to it. But you have to be very consistent to like taking care of it. Like, you gotta really take care of it. And right now, I don't know if you can see it, it's good. But the inside, I'm like taking care of it because I have a bigger bump. So what I did this time, I used the saline wash for a bit, then I used the sea salt. The sea salt I use is the one from Costco. It's pretty good. It took me about, I want to say, like in total, the process of it takes like about a week. But that was just for me. I was very consistent. I did it three times a day and I left it on for like half an hour. And then I would rinse it off with warm water. So what you do is take the sea salt onto a plate and then you get a Q-tip, you put warm water, you get the Q-tip and you put a little bit, think of it as a paintbrush, like you're doing this with the warm water, putting it on the plate, mix it all together and then put it on your nose. If you guys want to see that, I'll make a video of it. If not, then okay. <laughs> so enough about the nose piercing. The lip piercing I got back in March. I've always wanted a lip piercing. Day I got it, I actually wasn't planning on it. I was, I was kind of serious, but kind of joking about it. I wanted to get it, and my sister was like, "You're 18, I could take you." I'm like, "Okay, let's just go." We go in. I asked how much what the price was, and then he was like, "Do you want to do it right now?" And my sister looks at me, "Do you want to do it now?" And I'm like, "Okay, let's do it." Okay, let's go ahead and keep your mouth loose still because we got a needle in there and we don't want to get funky with it. Fantastic. So it's going to be obnoxiously long to start with. Mm -hmm. And I will give you a shorter one that you can take with you. 
You okay? Mm -hmm. Let's keep that right there for the time being. Grab onto it now. You can keep it that breathing. Let's we'll go ahead and keep it. That's it. Thank you. You got it. But as you can see, very, very long. So the healing process of the lip piercing, what I did was the outside, I cured it. I like uh, dabbed still a saline wound wash, the one you could get from Rite Aid. It's like about seven bucks. It's not too bad and it lasts long. Um, the inside, first you have to get a cup of warm water from the sink, just rinse, 30 seconds I say. Spit it out, then get the kid's mouthwash, the one that you can squeeze onto, and then like the little tube has two holes and it comes out and it's like the top. So you do that, rinse for a bit, and then spit it out. And keep doing that every day. So that was my process, and I didn't have any problems at all. There was no bumps, n none of it got affected, so it was good. It was a good healing process for me. My ears took a very long time, the last two holes. So it was painful, I didn't like it because I like to sleep on my side. Sometimes I sleep on my back, but I love sleeping on my side because I like to cuddle my pillow pet. <laughs> this side I don't have earrings on, but this side I do. Why, you say? Because I had to get these re-pierced. Well, I re-pierced them myself because the hole, the back of my lobe closed. So I took them off for work, the event. So I took them all off and I didn't wear them for a week. And then finally, when I put them back on, this side hurts so bad. And I, today, I still have small bumps. It's not big as it was. So I've been taking care of that. This side doesn't hurt so much, but I haven't taken it off since I re-pierced them myself. But I've been cleaning them, doing a saline wash just in case. Last, the last of my piercing is my tragus. The tragus wasn't too bad. It didn't hurt at all. I was a little worried because... I got it done at Claire's, um, the third, uh, the last two holes, like, psh, psh, and then the lady asked me, you want to get your tragus done? I'm like, sure. Technically, they're not allowed to. <laughs> You're not supposed to do a piercing with the gun. This one I got it done with the gun. And it didn't hurt at all. I was surprised when people asked me, does this hurt? I'm like, no, because it's literally just a little, you hear it crack, but it doesn't hurt. It's literally nothing. Yeah. So I had that on for three months, and recently I've changed it to a little ball. And this is actually from my lip piercing. It's um, it's the longer one. It's still it's a bit long, but hey, it's keeping my tragus okay. And after doing that for a couple of days, it got crusty, but clean it up, and we're good. And I just got to order a trigus piercing for it. So my camera decided to die on me right as I was about to finish up the video. So this is my ending. Um, thank you for watching and hopefully it was helpful. Um, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs up as well. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!